Here at Smart Dance Proxy, we encourage responsible Netflixing, like watching an episode, going out for a walk. Who am I kidding? Narcos was so addictive, it was like doing coke. So if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it smarter, not coke, obviously binging. So here are some Chrome extensions that you could use to warp your Netflix experience to another dimension. Hashtag Stranger Things reference. Unfortunately though, these only work with your Chrome browser, so if you're trying to use your Netflix on your smartphone or your TV, you're out of luck. But hey, that's how it works, right? Let's get to it, shall we? I love Netflix, but lately, they're moving from quality to quantity. In the previous month alone, Netflix released 38 originals. Can you believe that? And most of these originals are nothing compared to originals like Stranger Things, House of Cards or Daredevil. So as you can guess from the name, this Chrome extension No Netflix Original hides the extraordinarily large panel of original content from the site's homepage, thus making your homepage much cleaner. Try it out. Even after hiding Netflix original, it's still not that easy to find a good movie to watch on Netflix these days, which is why I like to check the IMDb ratings before watching anything. And that's where Rateflix comes in. Apparently, it's the only Google Chrome extension that actually works. Once installed, head over to Netflix and hover over the movies and TV shows section, it'll show you an IMDb rating. Unfortunately, Rotten Tomatoes ratings don't work as good as IMDb. And if the show is new, especially Netflix original, then there's no rating at all. But then again, it's the Chrome extension that works and I use it all the time. And by the way, if you're using an Android, you can use a Flutter app to get IMDb rating on the Netflix app. We did a video on that, so check that one on the video cards. Next up, we have a keyboard shortcut app. So Netflix by default provides you a few keyboard shortcuts like M for mute, space to pause, up and down arrows to increase or decrease the volume. But anywho, if you'd like to extend this functionality, then try Netflix Extended. This Chrome extension adds four new keyboard shortcuts to your Netflix experience. N to jump to the next episode of the show you're watching. B to jump to the previous episode. Escape to return to Netflix home screen with your current show or movie selected. With all that saved by this extension, now you can watch one new show every day. You're welcome, internet. There's plenty of foreign movies on Netflix. I'd recommend The Invisible Guest, by the way. But coming back to the point, if you want to learn a new language by watching Netflix, simply install language learning with Netflix Chrome extension. Pick a film to watch and choose the language you want to learn, like Spanish, and the language you can already speak, which most probably is English, and there you go. For my limited testing, this app is suitable for intermediate users. If you're a complete beginner, check out Duolingo. Netflix supports picture-in-picture -picture mode, but only when you're on Netflix.com. If I switch the tab or close the browser, the playback also goes down with it. Luckily, you can fix this with this Chrome extension, picture-in-picture -picture from Google. Simply install the extension, click the extensions icon next to the URL bar, and Netflix player will switch to picture-in-picture -picture mode. Now, even if you switch tabs or close down the windows, your Netflix playback will always be on tab. Of course, you can move around and resize the window as well. How cool is that? Another annoying thing about Netflix is the autoplaying trailers. Now I like good trailers, but more often than not, these autoplaying trailers are from Netflix originals, which as you know, I'm not a big fan of. If you're like me who doesn't like Netflix autoplaying these trailers on the home page, then Netflix Tweaked is the thing for you. This Chrome and Firefox extension blocks the autoplaying trailers from playing automatically in your browser. And not just that, it also moves your continue watching and my list feeds in the number one and number two positions below the services featured content at the top. Okay, some of you might already know this, but it's so useful that it's worth mentioning again. 
So if you don't know already, Netflix has a secret list of categories that are much more niche than the big bucket lists like action, drama, documentaries, you know, the things that you see on the home screen every day. All you have to do is go to the following URL and then replace the sign with the secret code like 2584 is the code for military TV shows. Similarly, there are hundreds of secret codes and it's not possible for any of us to remember all of them. But then, Netflix Categories links these secret codes to a simple interface. Once installed, simply click on the extension, scroll down to the genre, pick one and then click on it. Okay, this comes with a disclaimer. Smart News Proxy is not responsible if you lose your job, but if you want to watch Netflix at work without getting caught, try this extension called Panic Button. This extension adds a simple button to Chrome's toolbar, which when click immediately hides all of your open tabs and opens a new window of Chrome. Of course, you can click it again to bring back your closed tabs. And if that's not enough, you can even set a keyboard shortcut and password protector. Yep, your boss is not gonna like this one. So an extension to flip Netflix screen? Really? That's where we're going? I know it might sound stupid at first, but after spending countless hours binge watching Netflix on my bed, I've started appreciating this app. The cool thing is, you can choose the number of tilt depending on the angle your head is against the pillow. Didn't know you would need this app, but now you do, thanks to me. Netflix Party is a Google Chrome extension app and lets you watch Netflix with your significant other who's not in the same room. Simply choose a movie or a show that you want to watch together, then click on red Netflix Party button at the top of your browser to get the link to a shared session. Then share it with your friend. And there you go. Both of you can watch one Netflix show together but also chat and control playback. It would be kind of funny if there was a Chrome extension that actually added Chrome colored extensions to your hair. Jokes apart, if you like this video, watch our iPhone Tennis Max giveaway video. Who knows, you might actually just win it if you're optimistic like me and not a cynic. If you've made it this far into the video and you've got nothing else to do, like it's raining out or something, just subscribe and watch more videos. I'm Vanzi, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one, like I did in the last one. It's the same outro, doesn't matter. No one's watching. Everyone's watching. Are they? I don't know.